sewing friends, let's talk. We all have that accessory that we want to use and then when you go to use it, it just won't work. That's what the hammer foot was for me. I wanted to make all these napkins and every time I would try, I would get so frustrated. But I found a few tips and tricks and now I absolutely love it. Stay tuned and I will show you how to use it. Hey everybody, Trisha here with Sewing Parts Online. So let's talk about the hammer foot. What exactly is it meant to do? This little foot has a funnel that folds your fabric in on itself so that it can easily hem light to medium fabric. It gives you this really nice professional finished edge. Before we begin, please take a moment to like and subscribe. That way you'll get notified of any future video that we have. Hammer feet come in several sizes. Some of the common options are 1 8 3 16 and a quarter. They can also be labeled as 2 mm, 4 mm, and 6 mm. It just depends on the brand. The one that fits your machine may be a snap-on or it could be a screw-on. Also availability will vary depending on your machine. If a hammer foot came with your machine and you're not sure of the size, just flip it over. The width of the groove is the size of your hammer foot. Also, this is going to be the size of your finished hem. The heavier the fabric, the larger hammer foot you will need. If you are a beginner, I would highly recommend working with a quarter inch foot first. The larger funnel is just easier to work with. Some fun projects to use this foot on are scarves and lightweight skirts and, like I said, napkins. Always test on scraps prior to working on your project just to ensure that the fabric isn't too heavy for the foot. Also, we have another video on the hammer foot. Recommendations are based on different types of fabric that you're using. Make sure that you check out that video at the end of this video. To prepare your fabric, you need to think about the size of your hammer. Say you're using the quarter inch hammer foot. Whatever the size you're using, you're going to be doubling it. So first, you want to finger press a quarter inch, and then fold and finger press another quarter inch. Finger press several inches. Because I'd initially had issues with the hammer foot, at this point I actually tried pressing it with an iron thinking that would help, it didn't. You don't want to do that. The fabric needs to be pliable in order to feed into the funnel correctly. Now that you have your folded hem, pin it vertically. Set your machine to a straight stitch and adjust your stitch length according to the fabric that you are using. So first, you want to have a thread tail. You're going to need this in order to pull a little bit when you begin sewing. Now you can take your prepared fabric and place it under the foot. Lower your needle first then lower your foot. Now grab your thread tail and sew several stitches. Three or four is perfect. Leave in your needle and lift up your foot. So here's where I was having issues. I just could not get the fabric into the funnel. I found that using a pointy tweezers helped tremendously. So after I lifted my foot, I grab the fabric with my tweezers right by the foot. Then I push it into the funnel and bring it over to the left. By doing this, the fabric gets positioned correctly and you're not fighting with it. Remember, you want to feed in double the amount of fabric as the size of your foot. So here I'm using the quarter inch hammer foot. I'll be feeding in a half an inch. I find it's easiest to fold that amount and hold it with my finger while sewing and then line up the raw edge of the fabric with this guide. Start off slow and as you get more comfortable, you can speed up. Please take a moment to comment below. If you have any fun ideas on what to use this foot for, I would love to hear them. Now let's swap it out for the eighth inch hammer. Because the funnel is smaller, it can take a little bit more time to get the fabric in the funnel, but the concept is the same. However, I find that the eighth inch takes a little more practice. To have nice neat corners, finish all the way to the end and then prepare the next side as you did with the first. Repeat as needed. I am so glad that I didn't give up on the hammer foot. It really is such a great accessory. Make sure to check out that video for some additional tips. Until next time, happy sewing everybody!